Welcome to I Have a History Question. This is the program where you get those nagging queries about local history finally answered. Now here's Paul, your questioner, with historian Sonia Nizami. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Paul. How are you? Oh, I've been peachy all afternoon. I'm glad. And uh, this is our podcast where we answer some history questions I have. We have a historian here. And uh, this has been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. <laughs> we got uh, some feedback from our last episode. Question. Hopefully you can answer this. Last, last episode we talked about uh, state capitals mm-hmm. and actually Missouri state capital, the Washington D.C. and then Jefferson City. But I have a, a a question from one of our listeners who listened, who was watching us on Facebook. Okay. And we appreciate you um, from Joey. <laughs> Sonia, you look great. I love watching the program. I'm learning a lot. Why is Missouri called the Show Me State? <laughs> love, Joey. Love. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if you want to answer that real quickly. Um, well, so it comes from, and <laughs> I'm sorry, this uh-huh. is just, um, Missouri Congressman Willard Duncan Vandiver. That is a name you have to live up to, by the way. Yeah. I'm just saying. Um, in 1899. Duncan. Mm -hmm. made a speech at a naval banquet in Philadelphia. And he said, and I quote, I come from a state that raises corn and cotton and cockleburrs and Democrats. And frothy eloquence neither convinces nor satisfies me. I am from Missouri. You have got to show me. Wow. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that, Joey? Oh, he also writes, P.S., you look really good. You already said that. So, for someone who needs sleep. Thank you, Joey. I don't know why you put that on. Okay. I- <laughs> That's not even our question for today. That was no. just a little extra episode ever- thing for you. A little P.S. Yeah. Or a- an amendment, if you will. Okay. Here's the, que- here's the question for today. <laughs> Hey, we have a new federal holiday mm-hmm. celebrating Juneteenth. Yes. Now we have 11. Why do we have these 11 and how do they get established over our history? Yeah. So that should be really interesting to hear about. National. I love I love national holidays. I work in the financial um, sector. <laughs> oh, so. It, so it's always. So if you were British, they'd call them like bank holidays. Yes. Right. They call them bank holidays. Mm-hmm. But. It is an industry that always, um, when I was a little kid, I'm much older than you, but when I was a kid, everyone got off on national holidays. You're much older? Okay. Yeah. But nowadays, not everyone does, and I'm glad that I am able to get off on those days. (laughs) Back to you, Sonia. (laughs) Well, you know, it's actually been almost 40 years um, since a president signed into law a new federal holiday. Okay. And so, obviously, Juneteenth. And so, it was signed into law on, uh, I think it was June 17th. Yeah, it was like two days later. Yeah, it was, it I think effect. it was the next day. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, there's there's 11 of them now. The first one is New Year's Day. That's probably an obvious one why they did that. Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> New Year's Day. Um, so countries cultures around the world celebrate their new years and it's not always obviously january 1st this is when our calendar Mm -hmm. celebrates it and obviously festivities start the night before and i would guess yeah probably an educated guess on my part you know uh, the following day is recovery day. Yeah. <laughs> Do, in your research, did you find out when this was established as a... I, I, I okay. could have... I didn't write it down. And I bet you it's one of the first ones because I think they even celebrated in the older days. Oh, my they God. They celebrated yeah, New it's, Year's it's even more than Christmas. Thousands. Yeah. I yeah. mean, as I said, cultures around yeah. the world. Yeah. Okay. So we know that. Uh, the second one on the, on the calendar, the... 
is Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. Day. Now, why in the world did we have that one? It's, it's also, probably self-explanatory. Right. It's also known as the Martin Luther King Day of Service. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and that was officially signed into law in 1983. Mm -hmm. But it took 17 years mm -hmm. for all the states to recognize yeah. the holiday. How crazy is that? Yeah. And now, it, uh, What's it about? What's that about? Uh, well, I mean, celebrating the contribution of life and, and the civil rights movement as well, you know? Does it have anything to do with Martin Luther King Jr., the... Um, civil rights activist or is it just oh, coincidence? Oh, well, no. I mean, Martin Luther King Day? No, it has nothing to do with the person. I thought it did. I always thought it did. <laughs> no, it was named after a great man and a great Absolutely. historical figure. Yes. Um, and it's been controversial mm -hmm. throughout the years. As I said, it took 17 years mm -hmm. after it was first proposed. But it's not controversial anymore. No. And what I find not really like interesting... Was. You history buffs, look this up. Martin Luther King Jr. did so many uh, brave, historic things for civil rights, and he wasn't always well-liked in this country. He he went against the grain and changed our minds on things, and now we get to honor that on his national holiday, that everyone can talk about how great he was, but we didn't think that when he was doing his stuff. It wasn't like he was walking around... With all the support of the world, he had hardly any support, and he no, yeah, like he, he was probably he probably scared people. Yeah. I mean, but we're also talking about old he, white people. Yeah, he really did it. He he the the struggles he had to go with is just an, an amazing thing to think about, as opposed to just I get that day off in February. But you know, how brave, how brave. It, uh, it's that hard. must like what that must have taken. Yeah to uh, do that yeah it's hard to comprehend that br that type of faith and bravery that he had and every <laughs> every american should be really proud of that history unfortunately i think that we unfortunately that i don't think that, that, that that's the case yeah but, but they should okay they so, should. The, so the next one is George Washington's birthday, but they call it President's Day, right? Well, yeah. So, um, George Washington's birthday is actually February February 22nd, if okay. I can enunciate. Mm -hmm. um, but we celebrate the third Monday of February, mm -hmm. um, and that incorporates Lincoln's birthday as well. Um, it never falls on Washington's actual birthday. Um, and it is usually celebrated or sometimes with a cherry pie. Mm, okay. In honor so, of the cherry tree. So George Washington was um, obviously the father of our country, beloved. He could have probably been king of this country, but uh, he decided not to because he was such a good person. Yeah. That's he had some bad things about him, folks. Don't worry about it. But, but then... Another beloved person was murdered, and they wanted to honor him, too, so they made it both President's Day. Isn't that kind of what happened? It's supposed to be, it's President's Day for all presidents, but it's really, it's Washington and Lincoln, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah. Now, I can, when I'm in President's Day, I can remember the contribution of Washington and Lincoln. Um, it's President's Day. I can think about Truman. Do I have to think about... All you 46 don't have of them, to or think can about I skip Trump. one? No. Okay. Okay. Right. Thanks. Okay. And now, tell me, do you eat a cherry pie? No, I don't like cherry pies that much. I don't really. Um, I, I typically don't put on the powdered wig either. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, darn. Okay, so here's, here's one. Memorial Day. That comes next. Yeah. To me, it starts the summer. I get the pool going, and that's what it's about, right? No. What? <laughs> I mean, it's a great way to start your summer off. But, oh, okay. But I think do it with a little bit of um, 
humility and Why? and honor because it's Memorial Day. It actually started as Armistice Day to celebrate world, the end of World War One. Ah. Um, well, to be honest, it, thank you. I correct myself. Mm-hmm. I apologize. End of the Civil War oh, as well. Okay. It was first celebrated in 1888 and then became Armistice Day after gotcha. the end of World War One. Um, it was also known as Decoration Day. And that was when people go and decorate the graves of fallen soldiers. Have you ever done that? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Um, I think that's a tradition that uh, younger generations, I'll include mine, I'm not young, but my generation younger don't do as much as... Because I remember no. my parents and grandparents would always go and decorate. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, there is a cemetery in Kansas City who actually they do this really kind of incredible flag presentation, yeah, yeah. Floral Hills. Mm-hmm. That's where my grandpa, who um, a Marine, because you're never a former Marine, once a Marine, always yeah. a Marine. Hoorah. Hoorah. Um you know that's where he's buried and they have a a beautiful presentation every year yeah uh where my grandfather and my and my grandmother and my father are buried in mount washington they do a similar thing my grandfather was um he was in the army during world war ii my dad was in the something called the company in cambodia he liked to talk about but i don't know what that was about but they do they do beautiful um beautiful remembrance of and memorial day is it spe- it's specifically not that not to split hairs but specifically to remember those who actually lost their life right yeah that's but why it there's... has been incorporated or not incorporated um but kind of it's grown to include all former yeah. or all veterans well that, that that's why later in um in uh, the year is a one called Veterans Day, and I think that's why they did that. Tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, and I think one's, right. one's for who yeah. gave everything and passed. Yeah, and then one is for to remember those who right served or right. Yeah. but but I see what you're saying. What you like what you veterans do, have passed. You just yeah. remember everybody that served our country on both days. Yeah, thank I you. I appreciate that. I <laughs> need okay. Independence Day. What this is about? Um, the city of Independence. Mayor Weir's all over the place, right? Is that what that what Independence Day is? Is that why it's a national holiday because of our yes, town? Yes, yes. Independence You're Day to say no. is You're to be celebrated. The, uh, supposed to be the person with the knowledge. Okay? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Okay. Um, but you skipped over one. I'm just saying. Uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. I skipped over uh, Juneteenth. Right. Yeah. It's new. I forgot. But what, but since you brought up uh, Independence Day, yes, Independence Day is designed to celebrate Independence, Missouri, all across the country. Don't say that. You're you're not. Sp- <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, of course. Okay. Um. No. Obviously, uh, it is for the signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776. Mm-hmm. And it was first celebrated the following year in 1777. What day is that usually on? It's July 4th. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, good. And and people typically use that holiday now as just an excuse to blow things up. Mm-hmm. Um, without really remembering the fact that this is a celebration of our country's birth. This mm-hmm. is our country's birthday. You know, that's why I love that Juneteenth is now a holiday because so many years there was the declaration of independence and the the uh, the idea of freedom for our country Mm. and there was such a big group of people who didn't have freedom and it's like why are we celebrating that day when you didn't have freedom but now we celebrate both and that's cool I, i wonder like you know well i was about to say you know i wonder if like they'll ever kind of merge those holidays yeah, so like, have like a five day weekend or something <laughs> yeah. like they did presidency and i'm not kidding but yeah. i, I, I kind of think like that's probably not 
likely. Um, but yeah, Juneteenth, um, which is the 19th, actually, yeah. um, of June, June. Yeah. Clearly. Um, Emancipation Day honors the end of slavery in America. And emancipation the the proclamation was actually passed on the 1st of January in 1863. Yeah. That's when Lincoln signed it. Yeah. Right. But many weren't freed until June 19th of of um 19 or 1865 mm-hmm. um 1865 and Texas was the last state. Yeah. Last to get the word Free. on it, yeah, yeah. And some of the some of the slaves they turned around and said, "What? What's been going on for two years? I'm sorry, what?" Yeah, it was in Galveston. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa! You're uh, telling me now? He signed it two years ago, and you're telling me now? That's what they they had the whole conversation about that. Right. Okay, so <laughs> we know about those. Yes. So I, I I just think that it's really kind of incredible, though, that it's been 40 years since we've created a federal holiday. Mm-hmm. And. Well, this they have. To, why, why is it taken this long for this to be official? Um, yeah. Well, I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, I didn't know. I. I have only within the maybe the past fifteen years ever even heard of June fifteenth. Well, I mean, but let's you let's know? be pretty honest here. I mean, we are not. I mean, we're both. Uh huh. But yes, it was official. No, I, I, they, they, uh, freed the slaves, black Americans. I'm still celebrating that Juneteenth. It was, a, it was a good day for for uh, me to remember as well. Absolutely, one hundred percent. So take that. Okay, now Labor Day. Now this is this is they they established this so they could do Santa Caligon. <laughs> yes, that's why. Um, as Don't agree with me. It was sarcasm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's Labor Day? You, you've known me for a really, really long time. This is for time. mothers. You don't recognize my sarcasm. For mothers who are about to have babies, I don't understand Labor Day. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, as somebody who used to work in for or for a union, I love Labor Day every year, um, and it honors working men and women. Oh, good. Okay. Um, and it began with Peter J. McGuire of the American Federation of Labor, which is you know the Amer or the FL. CIO mm-hmm. um, and kind of as a way probably to placate workers but um, we will happily celebrate and so what year was was Labor Day started um, it in to honor the working person it, it was 1894 okay um, I don't remember exactly when it was made official. Gotcha. gotcha. I apologize for that. Gotcha. Maybe I have it written down. I don't know. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So Labor Day, that's... I don't like Labor Day. You, it's the oh. end of the summer. Yeah. I don't care for it. I, well, I love the fall, so okay. deal with it. Um, anything else on Labor Day? Can I move to the next one? You can move to the next Columbus one, and that's Day. on you. I was going to tell you about Columbus Day, because I, this prompted my question. So... Columbus Day is, um, it is, do you know when it is? It's October 12th. And. Well, it's the second Monday of October. Second Monday of October, around October 12th, because that's when, um, October 12th, uh, 1492 is when Columbus landed in the Americas. And this was, it's, the purpose I always was told about this was, is to remember Columbus and that he, uh, discovered our world. Well, I read a little bit that um, <laughs> they had a 400th anniversary of Col- of Christopher Columbus' voyage in 1892, 
and they did it following a lynching in New Orleans where a mob had murdered 11 Italian immigrants. Yeah. So President Benjamin Harris declared Columbus Day as a one-time national celebration. The proclamation is part of a wider effort after the lynching incident to placate Italian Americans and ease diplomatic tensions with Italy. So Italy, Italy was pissed about this because they right. were killing Italians that were coming over here. Um, the it was the biggest ethnic lyn- lynching in ever. It was in New Orleans. Someone was accused of murder. He was acquitted, and of a, the, of a police of, chief. of the police chief. Yeah. Um, and then the mob went in and killed him and, and 10 other people. Ital- and they were Italian-Americans. Well, comes to find out that many Italian-Americans observed Columbus Day and they just kept going through it. It, it, it began um, because Italian-Americans pushed it as a lobbying effort. And um, then in different states, they just started making it. Then the... In, in 1934, as a result of the Knights of Columbus, <laughs> Congress passed a statute saying the president is requested to issue each year a proclamation designating October 12th as Columbus Day. And then finally they made it. Now, the reading I heard about this, and I'm an Italian-American, I think as everyone knows. Lavota, I never guessed that. Is that it was established to placate the Italians... And to make Italian Americans part of the American experience. Now, the thing I read used that as a they said this to make Italian Americans white, is the way the author of the article I read about. But the point is, it became a point of pride that Italian Americans are part of this uh, nation, and I think in that sense, Columbus Day is a good thing. I think in that sense. Any of the any sure. any of these things that make any group feel part of the American experience, but come to find yeah, out, but Columbus the, the, was a real jerk. Well, right, and, and and like I see your point, but it does just the opposite. So a lot of states actually don't recognize Columbus Day, yeah. such as Alaska, Florida, Hawaii, Iowa, really? that many, Louisiana, Maine, Minnesota. N- New Mexico, Nevada, North Carolina, Oregon, South Dakota, Washington, and Wisconsin. Wow. I didn't know it was that many. Yeah. Um, they don't recognize it. And some will use alternative holidays. Okay. Um, in, Indigenous people has become a thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hawaii uses Discoverer's Day. Okay. But it's funny that um, this... Italian guy who came here in 1492 discovered a land that mm-hmm. had people already li- living in it, and nobody yeah. knew it ha- it existed. You know, and he also um, never, right. you know, he never, I know, was in the United States, ever. right? So, like, there's the, yeah, the issue. <laughs> um, so I I do like Indigenous Peoples Day. I don't have a problem with Columbus Day, you know, okay, like some people get an extra day off of but, but you know, it's just not right. Like and and there's evidence that there were people um here from Europe before Columbus yeah. too. So I I would suggest this and the Vikings you know, I work I know a lot of, uh, you know, I know high members of the Biden administration listen to this. And, right. Uh, I know. We're really popular. And this is this is what we're going to suggest. OK. And this is my suggestion that let's change it from Columbus. Let's have a national holiday. Let's honor those Italian Americans with their hero, either Frank Sinatra or, or, oh, or yeah. Arthur Fonzarelli. One of the two. Your choice. The Fonz- no, it's got to okay. be the Fonz Day. OK. Fonz Day. But let's do Indigenous People Day as well. Yeah. And uh, I know that we're we're working on very hard. We're lobbying for a Nasami Day for our Pakistani uh, people. Yes, the Pakistani people that don't exist. Right. So we're we're working on all these. We want ethnic groups, but so you're for Fonzie Day over Sinatra Day. Yeah, you know, I mean, I I love Sinatra's music. But okay. I think I- Okay. We've kind of had some issues too. So. All right. Mm. So we'll let me make a note of that. 
get that over to the Congress I'm, real quick. I see that you're writing feverishly. So Columbus Day, it will, it will be interesting. I bet you within our lifetime that will officially change I would think. Else, I would certainly you know? think so, yeah. Uh, it, but I don't think they'll take it away. You know, Taking away a day off, I don't so, think that's ever going to happen in America. D- South Dakota is the only one that actually uses Native American Day. Okay. Interesting. Okay. All right, moving right along. Veterans Day. Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. Um, oh, I apologize. I was so wrong. I spoke incorrectly about Memorial Day. Veterans Day is Armistice Day. Okay. Um, heaven forbid I'm wrong. But it was updated to Veterans Day in 1954. That's and, nice. Yeah. And, I, I mean, it's just a great way to recognize the service of... Um, of anyone that served, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've never served. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm, Not yet. I mean, you may be drafted. I'm 34. I oh, think okay. I'm a little bit too old. Okay, but, all right. Um, yeah, I mean, you've never served. I, I, I think that we're a little bit past the age that of, of service there. But I recognize the great sacrifice of, of time and the commitment that it takes to do that and i think that it's a wonderful way to serve or to recognize um those 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 heroes in in uniform and i'm willing to serve if i get if i get drafted i'll I'll go okay so if i'm too if i'm too old you're too old wow that hurt thanksgiving (laughs) day okay there's a lot of history things i know a little bit about this one okay go ahead so there's always been a tradition of in that time of the year to sit down it's you know like uh, uh, the harvest has come in you've done your hard work over over time you have your big meal that's what the the pilgrims and the indians were doing and so there's always been a tradition of a thanksgiving day thanking for the past year but tell me if i'm wrong on any of this so far it officially became a holiday when Abraham Lincoln set aside a day of Thanksgiving after the end of the Civil War. Did you know about this? Abraham Lincoln did do that, but it wasn't officially recognized until the eight, or 1930s ah, with Roosevelt. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, but there's always been this tradition, and we know about the pilgrims and the, and the Indians and all that stuff. Right. But And that's probably wrong from a historical point of view. But there's always <laughs> been this time of the year meal and celebration and and lincoln did it we need a day of thanksgiving that the war's over and then um fdr said yeah let's make a national holiday right yeah and so much of what we picture of thanksgiving with the turkey and the corn and the mashed potatoes and all of that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's so, so incorrect, obviously, yeah, to it's what me the. hungry, f- yeah. Well, you've got a few months to go. <laughs> okay. Or, all right. Um, come, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, but they likely ate fish, mm-hmm. maize. But they had a big, but they had a big meal. Yes. That's the point, yeah. And, and breaking bread mm-hmm. is, is. I think the moral of that story that you break bread among your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Do you think they should make Black Friday into a national holiday? (laughs) A holiday to shop. Um, Just for being so full the next day still yes gotcha but you know in the state of missouri it is tradition and i don't know among other states Mm -hmm. in the state of missouri it is tradition for the governor to call uh the day following thanksgiving as a state holiday interesting okay um you know it is interesting that uh my I always have Thanksgiving. I used to always have it with my in-laws. My father-in-law was from Sicily. So we would have some pasta, but we always had turkey and dressing and all the fixings there. And I would guess that was your family too, right? We, you had some little Pakistanian food, but you also had the American stuff too, well, right? Well, 
I always have done uh, Thanksgiving with my mom's side of the family. Oh, okay. But, but I will say this. My cousin, Sara, and her husband in uh, Houston, they do host a big Thanksgiving dinner where the whole family comes. And, yeah, there is a mix of Pakistani food and traditional Thanksgiving yeah. American food. The uh, my my daughter Megan is real good friends with uh, Crystal. Her parents are from China. Uh, they're f- from um, uh, Portland, so she went out there one Thanksgiving with her, and it was exact. Everyone got together, a lot of traditional Chinese uh, homemade food, yep, and turkey and dressing and everything else. Yes, so it's exactly. really <laughs> uh, it's America, isn't it? it that is, really and that's cool. what it's supposed to be. I mean. We talk about America being the melting pot, but that is exactly just like exactly what it is right there yes. on the table. Mm-hmm. This confluence of culture and food and togetherness. So f- the last uh, federal holiday in the year is Christmas Day. Yes. December 25th. Mm hmm. And that is actually a pretty controversial holiday. Yes. Is it? It is. It is. Wow. Uh, Because, you know, in this country, we have separation of church and state. And so how can Christmas, an overtly religious holiday, be be celebrated that way? Um, And... There was a Supreme Court decision, or actually, it was the U- U.S. District Court for Southern District of Ohio in 1999 um, ruled that it did not violate the Establishment Clause oh. of the Constitution and um, that it was okay, essentially, mm-hmm. because it was, it was largely secularized. Absolutely. It's about commercialism, which is what our capitalism is all about. Right. Let's go out and just buy a bunch of toys. Yeah. Someone said to me, well, what are we supposed to do on this new national holiday of of Juneteenth? I said, well, we do like we do every other one. We, you know, have a mattress sale and then, you know, <laughs> and eat a lot of food that we're not supposed to eat. That's America right there. I mean, sadly. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I think would be fun? What? Uh, in a couple months, let's do an episode where we talk about Christmas, because what anyone will tell you is that Christmas marks the birth of Christ. Well, we know he wasn't born in December, and we know that he didn't have a tree in his house when he was born. You know, there's all really? kinds of well, and and Christmas that wasn't traditions. at all adopted by from pagan tradition. Well, that's what it's too. all from. It's right. really interesting to know all those things and how yeah. that happened. But we're just talking about federal holidays now. You're right. You know. So yeah, there no, we go. I think that would be kind of cool mm-hmm. to discuss discuss that. Yeah. So there's our federal holidays, folks. Huh. I hope you get one named after you someday. So happy you day. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess every every listener, we would hope you would get your own national holiday. Right. Is there anything else that we should leave everybody with? Uh, well, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, not that I can think of at this moment. I'll probably think of something as soon as we sign off. Well, if you have any questions for us, you can give us an email at kctkradio at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you. And uh, this has been a lot of fun. So thank you. Thank you for listening. Okay, we'll see you next time. (laughs) Thanks, folks. Bye. Thanks again for listening to I Have a History Question with historian Sonia Nizami. You can submit your questions by emailing kctkradio at gmail.com or call or text at 913-735-0060. I Have a History Question has been a KCTK production produced by Paul Lavoda, all rights reserved. 
For more information and content, email us at kctkradio at gmail.com.